Tragedy in Kentucky where at least 16 people have died in historic flooding across that state and the number is expected to rise. The U.S. saw a record number of tornadoes this month. We estimate that about 73% of cases now are Omicron and that's up to 90% in some areas of the country. Approximately two-thirds of all Ukrainian children have been displaced in their home. More than five million Ukrainians have fled their country. It's an absolute outrage. The Federal Reserve is trying to control it with interest rate hikes, and we should expect to see another hike here soon, which could move the U.S. into a recession. And tonight in Florida, the desperate need, the lines at shelters growing, and the death toll rising. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight we have been receiving um, product from Delivering Good for our entire existence. We're serving children who are in homeless shelters. We're talking about children whose parent has been removed due to domestic violence, kids who are you know, refugees, new immigrants. Right now, we have seen 60% increase in demand for our services. It's really special to have the opportunity to give these kids these high-quality brands. Their classmates are wearing, but they could not otherwise afford or access. Philanthropy is at the core of both G3 and Morris's values. It was important to react and support the Ukrainian effort at delivering goods. The network of agencies that delivering goods had in place would get the needed aid to the Ukraine in a timely fashion. It's important for companies to provide opportunities for their associates to participate, particularly in this global society where we are all interconnected. Our organization is actually kind of unique. It started in COVID and it was a very introspective time, quickly grew through the partnership with Delivering Good. Our disaster outreach includes Kentucky, Tornado in the Mayfield area, and then of course the flooding in Eastern Kentucky, serving people that are just totally blindsided by a natural event. Delivering Good has opened that door for us to be able to impact people on a level that we never envisioned that we could. It adds such dignity to people's lives to be able to provide them with new clothing, new furniture, new home decor. It, it's impactful and it, it stays with that person. And I feel like it has a lasting impact to build a foundation that they would have you know, more confidence and, and self-worth in themselves to build a better future. As Haynes has a goal of impacting the lives of at least 10 million people by 2030, and the millions of units of product that we donate through Delivering Good every year is helping us meet that goal. It supports one of, of our pillars of sustainability, and that's comforting those in need. In times of natural disaster, when you've literally got nothing, nothing can be more meaningful at times. It's just having a new clean pair of socks to wear, new underwear when you've got nothing. And the same applies in our focus through our work with Delivering Good on the homeless population. Getting those products in the hands of people that really do need it most at the times when they need it most is what this, this relationship between Haynes and Delivering Good has been all about. One of the uh, major partners, she has a mentoring nonprofit for young men. And she called me one day and she said that they needed some clothing for the young men. They were putting them through a workshop to try to teach them the correct way to interview. And I was like, well, you know what? I got all these Ralph Lauren jackets. And they took them through the workshop and quite a few of them received good, nice jobs after they were, you know, had the little makeover. When I tell you the amount of people that have been blessed by delivering good, I cannot even measure. It is just, it's a lot, it's a lot.